another episode. Can you smell it? Hang on. <laughs> Can you smell it now? Yeah. We're in Crocodile and Barramundi country. Finally. So we left home at 5.30 yesterday and we travelled till 1 o'clock last night. 1 o'clock in the morning. We pulled up a little roadside stop and popped the rooftop tent up and had three and a half hours sleep went straight back into it this morning so what do we have five and a half hours to go from that roadside yeah so we're about three and a half hours away now we're currently in between well a truck and a uh, little caravan <laughs> <laughs> we're heading up to dingo beach which is between early beach and bowen um, and we're doing five days of fishing, so this is going to be like a little mini series. I don't know how much footage we'll get, don't know how many episodes yet, but it's definitely going to be at least three. So, because we're running a little bit later than what we thought, now we're just going to go fishing straight away. We were going to go, we're staying in a little caravan park on the beach somewhere there, but we're just going to go fish uh, the Prossy River today. So, we're going to chase Barramundi today. Never been here, never been fished anywhere up here, so. We don't know what to expect anywhere, hey? Not at all. And that's what we want. We could get so stranded at low tide. We or... could get stranded at low tide. We have no idea. <laughs> so all I know is um, one guy was nice enough, Taylor. He's given us a bit of information about the place. So thanks, mate. I'm um, just going to go off what he said and, and wing it. So I won't bore you with any of the trip. We've got three hours of music and just boringness. So... Uh, see is at the ramp <laughs> and is that's it. actually a ramp there is actually yeah. a ramp yeah all right after 14 hours of travel <laughs> we're three minutes away from the Proserpine River boat ramp and we're gonna go chase some Barra but we stopped into Barra World at Proserpine then and the boys gave us bad news that it only fishes really good on the neat tides and guess what we're not on neat tides, we're on the big tides. But anyway, we'll go have a go. We've got four hours and then we've got to leave to get to the caravan park on time up at Dingo Beach. So we're still going to go have a crack. We just bought a cast net because I forgot mine. We'll go get some liveies. We're going to drop some crab pots in for Justin. Yes, definitely. Just in case. We don't know what to expect <laughs> at all. The What's only this? car down here. Oh, there's one, Ooh. two. Oh, there's a couple. There's a few cars here. That's an okay sign. It'd be bad if you were the only car down this here. This might be completely empty, but compared to what it <laughs> usually is. All right, we're pulling up. Our first time. Crossy River boat ramp. There she is. Oh, look at her. Bigger than what I thought. Yeah. It's a bit flash. No crocodiles. No. <laughs> All right. We're going to sort ourselves out, get changed. We haven't showered or anything. Oh, that sun. Feel how hot that sun is. Oh, that is good. It actually burns. All right, we are in. We're in the water. The Crossy River. And it doesn't sound promising. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go out and have a crack. See what happens. Never been here before, so here she comes. I have no idea where I'm crabbing here, but I'm just going to chuck it willy-nilly. Reckon this looks good? That'll do it. Righto. One of three. Number three, lucky last. Alright, we're trying that little creek entrance there and no luck got one little hit but I'm really I'm not a very good barra fisherman at all I love doing it but I'm no good at it um, Sarah's a better barra fisherman than me I know the very basics of it and that's about it so what people have told me and explained to me I'll um, put that to use use my sounder look for clearer water fish the wind blown points where it blows the uh, bait in but this river looks like it's running out fairly hard so it's gonna wing it there we go even a catfish 
Don't want to caddy? We have, we have done our time on catfish anyway. I'll go have a cast around this little point here. Yeah, look at this big fella here. I wonder if he knows where the barra are. That's a big croc. Yeah. Oh, another one above him. Oh yeah, there's two. Probably a male and a female. Which probably means they're big mating croc. and cranky because they want to be left this alone. It's probably not a bad spot to throw a bloody lure. Okay. Oh, we're here. How's that for a lot of current? <laughs> that tide is just tearing out. No good on the crabbing so far. Our crab pots were like washed about a hundred meters away from where they were. <laughs> Literally, crab pot washed out with the current. Like, how far would it have moved? Easy hundred meters. <laughs> oh well. We're packing it in. We're out of here. All right. We have got to our uh, campsite at Hideaway Bay. This place is awesome. We haven't even been to the beach yet. Such a quiet little caravan park. Here's our uh, campsite. I'm gonna pop the camper up and then we're gonna go to the beach. Righto, camp, camp set up, let's go to the beach. <laughs> no, seriously, this is awesome. There's like communal barbecue, like all firewood supply. There's a, a firewood barbie there. Um, there's a fire pit. Sarah just said the toilets are extremely clean, so it's awesome. We're gonna go to the beach, show you the beach. I haven't been there yet, it's low tide, so we're gonna go have a look for some crabs, for some blueies, cause you get blueies just off the shore here. There's the firewood. Looks like good firewood, eh? It does, actually. Beach is a five minute walk. Fire pit. Tables. Cleaning. Wood fire barbie. And a fish cleaning table right there. And Sarah's going to touch a chilk. <laughs> I had to try. I think I want to live here. Mmm, that's good. Do you like to live it? Yep. No, I think we're going the wrong way. No, it's fine. Is that this one? Right. Blue dots us. That's the reef. <laughs> this is a dirt track. How good is this? So good. Adventuring. There's like no one here. There's not nobody, there's probably just the no, right no. amount of people, don't you reckon? Yeah, like, like they're the only people on this track. We're the only people on this track, that's for don't sure. <laughs> and there's a rock there. <laughs> there's really nice houses right there, but not many. And this island that you can see straight through the trees there, yes, I have a beer. That's Gloucester Island. And around Gloucester Island you get crayfish, trout. <gasps> I can see the water. <laughs> oh my god. You get crayfish, you get trout, you get finger mark, you get nanny guy. <sighs> well, other people do. We probably won't. <laughs> but we're going to try. We're going to one of the local little river systems tomorrow. And we're going to try for mangrove jack. We're going to chuck the crab pots out. There it is. That's our first little look at the beach. That's Gloucester Island I was saying just before. Gloucester, Gloucester, Gloucester. I still haven't figured that part out, but I'm gonna call it Gloucester. Have a look at this little cool cabin. Imagine living there. I think I'm in love. There. there is a boat down there. Oh, I cannot wait. Seriously cannot wait to go fishing out off here. I hope we get some good weather. We're meant to go home Tuesday Arvo and do another hellmish at night time and that to get home. But 
I think I might stay one more night because on Wednesday it's like glassing out, like proper glassing out. So if that still stays like it, I don't I don't care. I don't care about work, whatever. I'm we're staying. What have you spotted? Oh my. Okay. Sarah's already onto it. She's like, there'll be crabs down here for sure. And I know for a fact that you get blue bone just out here. So one of the guys is telling us to use prawns, but at home we use crabs and they go off. So as you've seen on our previous uh, episodes, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for crabs on the beach. We're gonna send those little bad boys down, see if we can get a couple of uh, brutes just inside Gloucester Island there. And it is pumping southerly. Like it was 30 knots back where we were. It still would be offshore. And it's actually quite nice in here, really, hey? We're gonna go have a look at some quabs. And uh, we'll show you what it's like at the beach. <laughs> Ooh, oh, this is so good. <laughs> Amazing. And this oh. is low tide, Sarah. I know. God, I will not be able to sleep tonight. I'll be like a kid on Christmas Eve. <laughs> what, a bit excited about going fishing. <laughs> Get me out there. Rightio, so that's Gloucester Island there. Bang. Gloucester. Gloucester, Gloucester, whatever. You get trout right there. Finger mark, nanny guy, blue bone, GTs, buddy, everything. Just there. Give me that sleepy crab. <laughs> He's evaded you. Oh, yeah. So these are our new water shoes. <laughs> They've got the drain holes all in the bottom. And I haven't even wore them in the water yet. That's way better than pluggers. That is way better than pluggers. Oh, oh, we're on here. Someone's lure. Whose is it? Looks like a pretty good little lure too. Stump jumper. Oh. You're coming home with me, Stumpy. <laughs> Whew, look at the size of the oysters here. <laughs> oh man, if only I ate oysters. Look at this machine crab collector. It's a good sign you're in a good spot when you're finding wrasse under the rocks. Oh, how beautiful. There you go, mate. Aww. This is insane we're down here collecting crabs and we're just kicking oysters these are the small ones we're just kicking oysters off rocks at will look at it mm. where's yours amazing they're everywhere <laughs> and there are some really really big ones yeah the size of these Oh, what'd you just say? What am I shucking? <laughs> I think I've found my home. I think I've found my new home. Yep. Yep. If we catch fish here, like blueies and trout and all that sort of stuff, can we move here? Absolutely. <laughs> Look. Go on. Don't cut your finger. Oh, it's still warm. Oh shit, I dropped it. Oh. <gasps> Gotta be crunchy. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Yuck. Yum. Did you 
All right, we're heading back up to camp. We collected a little bit of bait. And tomorrow we go adventuring to uh, a creek we have no idea how to get to and no idea how to fish. So <laughs> no, no idea what to expect. It's so good. But anyway, we're gonna go back now. We're gonna have a fire, we're gonna have dinner. We're gonna go to bed because we've had three hours sleep in like 48 hours. And then we're gonna get up early and go fishing. So see you in the morning. Good morning, it's 7.15 in the morning and we're on our way to one of the little creek systems near Hideaway Bay. So pretty much this is day one. Yesterday was a bit of a write-off, wasn't it? No, it wasn't a write-off, but just a... It wasn't a write-off, but it was all travel. And then, yeah, as soon as we got to there, it was run out tide. So this is day one for us and we've already organized to stay an extra day <laughs> because the weather becomes really good on Tuesday and Wednesday. We're heading home on the Tuesday Arvo, so we're gonna stay an extra day. This is next level, this place. All around us right now is just flat land and big hills and hardly anyone around. We're in love, are we? Perfect. A few fish today, it'll just... Oh, I might not come home. I'm not even joking. So, Alright, I'll see you at the bush track. Way out. <laughs> it must be a lot later up here than uh, than what it says at Dingo Beach. So we've got a couple of hours to wait. So we're just going to have a flick off the bank here. Sarah said she's seen a couple of liveies, um, so I'm going to throw the net for them. But I ain't going close to this water. That's for sure. So what you're saying is you made me go back for nothing. Should you really be standing that close to the edge? Oh, and it's a jumping croc if that comes up here. 
I'm talking about slippery mud, slippery mud and having to try and scamper your way back up. Never stray too far from home, do you? No. Eh? Always got to have a hand line and some squid. <laughs> <laughs> so she has about five casts with a plastic. Screw this, go back to camp, grab my hand line and some squid. <laughs> All right, might be a bait versus plastic stay. What do you reckon? Mm, maybe. See who wins. I'm doing both though. Yeah. Gonna be an interesting little exercise. It is. Yeah. Tide's coming in quick as. <laughs> we gotta get down in there. It's really slippery here. Nah, but it now stop. <laughs> That's going to be interesting to get out of. <laughs> Got to get some liveies for the boss. She doesn't like fishing with plastic, she likes liveys and she likes a hand line. I'm gonna scout through here, see if we can get some potty mullet or something and then go fishing. Haven't seen much. No. Here we go, I'm gonna start fishing. Got a little rocky outcrop here. An old prawn farm apparently. We tried for liveys, didn't see any. Spoke to two boats that were in here and they said good luck. <laughs> so, who knows? Two pro crabbers that work this creek apparently, and we've seen one of them just before. And he said, out of 40 pots, he got how many crabs? Two. Two crabs. So, oh well. You never know. We chucked three pots out back then. And uh, even if we just got one muddy, it would be fantastic. No biscuit. First cast, I got a barra. Whoops. Wrong sort of barra, I was barracuda. <laughs> Good fish. 
shit. Oh, look at this, chasing this shit around. <gasps> Cheers. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. You on? Yeah. Oh, I was. Holy shit. and stuff just takes off left, right and centre. Fish are just pushing all the bait up all into these rocks and just they just got them all schooled up and packed in there and then there's bust ups yep. after bust yep. up. There you go. Oh no. Oh, oh, yep. Yep. oh I had one just Oh no, I just lost it. <laughs> no, snapped it. Oh. Yep. <gasps> you ain't put a bigger leader on. That was a good fish. <laughs> oh no, you feel that. The right end? Oh. Yeah. Right on that corner. Really good. I want a jack. I want a jack so bad. I reckon that might be the jack. Oh, look at the bait up here. I know. It's because that eagle. Yeah, there's an eagle above them and there's... That was a good fish. I saw the big swirl. Oh my god. I just dropped. I reckon I know what that was. <laughs> no. I just dropped a good fish. That was a big swirl. Yeah. That was a jack. Very good? Yeah. The way it hit it, it was just bang. On again. Oh, he's little, I think. Is he? He's trying to swim into the rocks though. Is he? Oh, another little cod. <laughs> You're the cod slayer. Yeah, lucky they're my favourite. Oh, little guy. Smash the gobblers, did he? Yeah. It's only a little. I love there's so many cod down there. <laughs> On the gobblers again. Ooh. Oh, you got him. Oh. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Not again. Oh. <laughs> Another one. Loaded. Really? Oh, well done. Little cod. No, nah, what's this? Flatty. Oh. The flathead. This little fella just took that prawn, didn't he? Hey? Eh? That's good. We're gonna go out to the mouth for a quick look. The tide's running out pretty quickly now, so we haven't got much longer till we have to get back to that boat ramp or I'll be winching the boat out with my um with my car winch. <laughs> so, don't know what this is, but got him on the troll. Tiny. <gasps> Oh. The old ripper diver never fails, hey. I swear that fish is smaller than the, the lure. Room, is it? Oh, it's a little uh, <laughs> oh, finger mark. 
finger mark. Hit the little ripper diver. <laughs> well, awesome. I said I wanted a finger mark, didn't I? You did. Don't worry about what's going on Beautiful. behind the scenes. Hey, mate. Right. Just parking up in the mangroves. Back to check the pots. How'd we do? Dad. Zero. Number two. Apparently there's no crabs in here though. One's right so far. Not feel heavy. Nothing? Nope. Wow. Oh, a little brim. Does it feel crabby? <laughs> Whoa. Oh well. Epic. Cool. Oysters and cod it is, eh? Let's go and drag this uh, tinny out of the mud. This could be entertaining. <laughs> we are good and proper uh, leaving it to the last minute to get this boat out of this creek. <laughs> We're good at that. I, I fear we may uh, we may have left it a bit too long. If we do, if we have. We're stuck in here till about nine o'clock tonight. and fishing all day. So this is Dingo Beach boat ramp right here. So there's two poles just out there and there. Two poles you put in here around those two posts and that leads you out to the um, to the open sea. So yep, we're gonna unhook the tinny and then head off. Oh my god what is that noise? This thing. 
pisses me off. You drive 13 hours north and you take your boat off with a spanner. That's what happened at Double <laughs> Island. This thing nearly seized up. So I just tried to straighten up my handle when we were coming off the beach. You bent it. <laughs> so I tried to straighten it up yesterday, it snapped off. So now I'm using a shifter. Oh, shifter, not a spanner. Since I've been fishing all day, and we're back at camp, what do you want to do? Go fishing. Go fishing again? It's pretty obvious. All right, let's go. <laughs> well, right -o, so I told you these shoes were light, didn't I? That's how light they are. They blew out of our tinny and we've had to now drive half an hour back to try and find them. We've, um, getting it? We wanted to go fishing off the rocks at Hideaway Bay and we went set up, got all our stuff out, went to find our shoes and we only found one. So we've had to hike it all the way back, re <laughs> re retrace our steps yep. and we've got one each now. So we've we got one find shoe each. The other two. Come on. Not Just believe it. We're uh, three from four now. Sorry about the uh, sudden stopping to everyone on the highway, but we have to do this. So there you go. One to go. Unfortunately, <laughs> we only found two shoes. Says he's only got one shoe. And they've been run over by cars and all sorts of stuff. We've just come around the corner from uh, Hideaway Bay. We've pulled the car up and I'm just gonna flick the Mad Scad and see if I can get a trout. So apparently you get trout straight off the beach here. In amongst all these bombings. So if I get a trout, I'm going home, I'm selling the house, I can tell you that much. But um, this is why we just drove half an hour looking for the shoes. I can't believe it. They've got, they're all open at the top, really strong mesh, so the water, water floats through them. And then they're open at the bottom, so all the water drains out and they dry within like 15, 20 minutes. So they're amazing. So I drove half an hour to get them so I could walk on all these oyster rocks. Anyway. Anyway guys, it's been a big day. We've caught a few fish, lost a few fish, seen some pretty cool places. If we get any fish here, I'll make sure I turn the camera on. But if not, we're gonna go home, watch the footy. Manly are playing tonight, so Tom Trevojevic is back. Tommy, you are the man. That's about all we've got for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned, because tomorrow, we're going river and reef in the same day. We're coming over this side where we haven't been yet. Hello, mate. Look at this big thing. There's sheep dogs on the beach here. If you enjoyed this episode and are keen to see more, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram.